What's up, Java Weirs, and welcome to episode 2 of Minecraft Mining for Beginners. And, um, this is, uh, also for 1.4.5, and hopefully 1.4 when Mo Chang wishes to release it in January. So, here we go, and I promised you in the previous tutorial of setting up MCP with Eclipse, and if you don't have this program, which I'm in right now, go watch the early tutorial, and, uh, you will be fine so what we will do is we will indeed make the mod underscore file which you only make if you use mod loader um, and forge I think I think but I am not sure but let's go ahead and look what this program has some features for us so about this is a cool features that we can make new class files very easy you can go ahead you can right click this new and choose class or you could do it the easy way just press on the net the minecraft that uh package which is it called you can call the folder whatever you want it's packed but it's called a package and you press this c up here new java class so just press that and make sure that the source folder is client uh, slash soc Slap and uh, the package is net on Minecraft that SOC. So you m give it a name here, and uh, sorry, it's gonna be called name dot uh, whatever you call it dot Java. So you have to name it mod underscore, no capitals or lowercase, and mod underscore, and then whatever you want. So I am gonna type tutorial tutorial finish so you get this lines of code now what I usually do is I choose this in the next line so I have like this opening and closing in curly brackets and I have some code in here now a simple tip that you should use is that if you want to ma make your code look a little bit more easier than just like typing something here then you should press tap and then you will have your code here so it looks more cool and that will also be very easier for example I just like did public void load and I have it there and I have uh, that there and that there and it looks more cool right instead of hang reading like in the middle so let's begin so first of all what you have to do is public class Mod underscore tutorial you have to do extends base mod and um now in Java code it can only extend something that's already in the package and therefore there must be a Java file called base mod and there is <coughs> and this is not a file that comes in Minecraft no it comes in mod loader now here's a lot of the functions that you can use in mod loader for an example, the taken from furnace, if you make in an achievement, then you can enable that achievement when something is taken from the furnace. <coughs> or taken from crafting. You can also do some other cool stuff that we will be looking on. For an example, I will be covering the public internet fuel the add render, the generate surface and nether probably also this one and this one some key events, mods loaded, I don't know no we don't need that one and some of the other like taking from crafting and furnace but we don't need that now <coughs> so <coughs> what I do when I mod uh, what I've learned for a cool guy called Tracky Series go check out his channel, there will be a link in the description uh, he's a very cool modder. He made some modding tutorials that helped me when I started modding in Minecraft. What he do and what I do too, because it's cool. You do double slash, because that's the same as a comment. You can also do other stuff like that, but do double slash and it won't. The code won't recognize it, so you can type whatever you want. And when Minecraft loads it, it will not be loaded. When Minecraft loads all this, owned this, and this will be loaded, not what it says here. 
so here will be that one and this but not this it's like it's not even there so what he does when I do is I do blocks that's where to climb my blocks I do items or materials or whatever you do tools armor food biomes and uh, mobs I don't know if we do mobs there I don't care other <laughs> so now we have a lot of these now the next now here comes the thing here comes the real Java code so actually I've already done this but you do public void load opening bracket and close meaning bracket go on the next line and open some curly brackets and when you do curly brackets opening and press enter it will automatically make a close meaning one and get you on the next line right here so now we can do some more uh, comments we can do registering re registering blocks doesn't matter how you spell it but I don't like errors or it's not error it's actually just it's not in the, um, the dictionary right Re registering blocks textures for items adding adding in game oh game ah names uh crafting recipes smell smelting recipes other uh that's smelling to dictionary Oh, what the hell? Who cares? Now I think this closing bracket from the public white load. You do public capital S in string get version with a capital V in the same word so public string with a capital S get version go on the next line open some curly brackets uh, it will make the close ending one and you do return space double quotes type in whatever you want it to be I usually type uh, the version of Minecraft so get version so in this case it's 1.4.5 so here we have no errors as you can see if there is an error then in this case it will give that red cross there and how you do that you just save and now there's no error <coughs> so as you can see we have a mod underscore file with package net of minecraft.ssc which is because of it it's in the package and uh, we have this file ready oh sorry with some like, three methods or the public class mod underscore tutorial the public void load and the public string get version no actually you know it only has two it has the load and it has the get version that's the void and that's the string now I'm not going to be covering the string and the void and all that stuff I'm going to do that in some programming tutorials so that's it for the mod underscore file so guys or so java weirs actually i think that's kind of it for this tutorial it was kind of easy but well i guess this was also the easy part <coughs> now <coughs> uh, in the next tutorial 
I will be doing this actually. I will make a block. Next try again. I'll make item. Tools. Armor. Food. Biome. Mob. Other. <laughs> this could, for an, uh, for an example, be an instant house. And uh, we'll do a lot of shit. So, sorry for saying shit. Uh, I also did that in the last tutorial, actually. Never mind about that. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Tom out. <laughs>